What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing a Caldheim draft. This is my first Caldheim draft. I'll be honest, I haven't even looked at all the cards yet. Draw cards, as long as they want one trample. Sure. Uh, to one creature, two elves. That seems fine. Exile a creature from your graveyard. If you do, exile a shooter. Do, do, do. Um. I think Blood in the Snow is probably too good to pass, right? I mean, we can just take a couple of uh, a couple of snow lands to make it really worth it. It just seems too good to to pass on. Oh, what up, Jimmy? Jimmy. J -j -j Jimmy and the Jits. Uh, what is it? What does this do? Changeling for five. You may have it under the battlefield as a copy of permanent you control, except it's legendary. And snow in addition to other types. If it's a creature, it two additional one one counters. And might just be snow covered swamp here. This is a looty bird. Uh, buying the monster is fine. Hmm. I don't think any of these cards are actually great. I think it's actually just Swamp here. And reason being, I want Blood on the Snow to be as good as possible. Oh, interesting. A Barter in Blood. Rune has got this Death Touch. It's fine. Opponent discards a card. Turn a creature from your graveyard to your hand. That seems pretty decent. Um, these are both three threes with boast. Three threes for four with boast. Battlefield Raptor. It might just be. Sh it might just be Shadow actually. This is also an instant. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna take that. Two, three, for four with flying, death touch, haste, and foretell. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh, if it isn't Michael B. Yeah, I have no reason to not be black right now, so. Oh, what up, Dan Omac? Good seeing you, buddy. Thank you. Dillon Mace with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I had such a good deck with a bunch of snowlands, blood in the snow, and was able to get Eradicated Valkyrie back with it. It was great. Yeah, so we're close. Hailstorm Valkyrie. 2 2 Flying Trample. Plus two, plus two until end of turn. For two snow. Return a creature in your graveyard. Return two creatures that share a type. Uh, four, four for five. Under his battlefield of two creatures, you get plus one, plus one indestructible. Three, three for two. This is just a bad smuggler's copter. Uh, I'm just going to take the Hailstorm back. Thank you. Oh, Shinala. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Sacrifice this and negative versions where snow lands you control. Look at the top three cards you have for one in a hand. Sure. We know what strategic planning does. Six, six for six where you gain four. Sculptor of Winter on top of Snowland. Dan, I appreciate you, buddy. Congrats on the new job, my dude. I think it might just be Sculptor of Winter. Or we can just take Snow Covered Mountain. Let's take Snow Covered Mountain. We have several cards that are reliant on snow colors. Snow snow mana, rather. So I'd rather just have those work. I'm also going to mute the other mic, because there's no reason for that to be on. Uh -huh. Ooh. So these are, also, these are also pretty decent. I think that's a pretty easy pick. Exile a creature... 
from your graveyard, target opponent loses three life. It's actually not bad. Oh, you have to tap it though. Yeah, that's worse. Ice tunnel seems pretty good. Wow, second dwarven hammer. That's interesting. I don't care about Tibble's trickery. Uh, add two mana of any one color and two mana of any other color. That's interesting. Three two for three. That can get menace. I'm just gonna take the ice tunnel here. Oh, what up, Gamma Set? We have three snowlands so far. That actually feels decent. This is your typical act of treason for the set. Draw two cards and create a treasure token. Destroy an artifact or land. I actually think it's this guy. One, two for one target opponent loses life, you gain a life. But you have to boast it. We could take Pilfering Hawk here. We only have one one. We only have one red card, really. And we still have Ice Tunnel to fix our blue. Eh. I'm actually fine with that. Or the 3-3 three, three for 4. What's our curve looking like right now? Okay. Let's take the 2-drop. Raven Wings, Gurdjieff, one, two, flying, and as a bird, in addition to its other types. Destroy an artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Let's take the wings. Ah, oh, Frost. What does this guy do? Return a creature, return two creatures, they share a type. Uh, we're just going to take the Yeti here. <laughs> Oh yeah, the new WandaVision episode was amazing. No spoilers because it just came out today, so let's not talk about it. But uh, yeah, anyone who didn't watch the the like who anyone who stopped watching because they didn't like it is kind of silly because it it's very good. Okay, big fat dread rider. Colvori. I don't think I don't think this card is I, I think both sides of this card are actually not great like it's funny because the second side is like it's like a two mana mana rock like a cold steel heart or a felwar stone or something but the problem is like you it only works for one creature type it's legendary so you can't play multiple of them and you can only use it to cast creatures of the chosen color like what why does it have so many limitations uh snow covered plains Eh, this pack's kind of meh. I guess Raven form is kind of fine, right? Yeah, I kind of like Raven form here. This is assuming we're blue black here. Sulfurous mines. Hmm. That does let us splash the. Uh... <clears throat> So this makes a 4-4 four, for four, 5. That's actually really sweet. I kind of like that a lot. What is Narfi? Other snow and zombie creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. This card actually seems insane, right? Yeah, we're definitely taking the zombie lord. We already have, like, a lot of snow creatures. This just for 3 mana, you just return it from your hand? Or from the... Oh my god, that's fantastic. That's wild, dude. I kind of just want the Snow Swamp here. Um, I like Run Ashore a lot. This is this like cards like this are one of my favorite cards. Like things that bounce two permanents are really really good, uh, especially if they put them on top of the library. And this one's an instant. Yeah, it returns to the battlefield, right? From your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped. I 
I think the snow swamp is probably where we want to be, though. Like, we only have four snow lands. We want to maximize our snow lands for sure. Two, four, four, four. When it enters the battlefield, if you control three more creatures, the chair creature type, put a one, one counter on it. Then scry one. Um, I kind of feel like we could be the Ascendant Spirit deck. I guess we're going to take that. Nothing else in this pack is actually that great, but, I mean, if I can just maximize the number of... 2-4 Flying Lifelink. Whenever you cast your second spell, look at the top three cards, put one in your hand, the rest in the graveyard. Uh, you exchange control of two target creatures. Eh. I, I think the actual Swamp is just better. <laughs> uh, Woodland Chasm is definitely a black source for us. In the center of the battlefield, we search library for hand and a graveyard for a rune card. Put on the battlefield, we have no runes, and I don't really feel like picking up runes just for that. 1-4 Flyer for three. That gets plus one, negative one until end of turn. I think way down actually seems real good, right? Exile a creature from our graveyard? Sure, that seems completely reasonable. I bet I can do that. Uh, Frost, Frost Augur seems real sweet for us. Infernal Pet 2-2, when you cast your second spell, put a 1-1 counter on it, gains flying. That's actually not terrible, but I don't think we're a 2-spell per turn deck. Choose a creature until next turn. All damage that will be dealt to that. To creatures you control is dealt to that creature instead, so it's kind of like Pariah. Another Raven form. Shimmer Drift Veil seems great, right? Am I crazy on that? That seems fantastic. I mean, right now we have one, two, three, four. We have six snow lands. Oh, yeah, it does because they're zombies. That's a good point. If they do get plus one, plus one. And this guy's a four, three, four, five. Is not terrible stats on his own. O four 4 for 2. Eh, I think it's probably just the O four. 4 Another Way Down. I mean, Way Down's actually pretty sweet when you have Priests because they're just going to go to the graveyard. This guy's also pretty easy to go to the graveyard. Um, I think it's definitely one of these two for obvious reasons. They're the only good cards in our colors. we're taking the disciple wow this came back i'm really I'm not, uh, also with two elder fang disciples i kind of like village rights here destroy a creature planeswalker that was dealt damage this turn sure that's fine i think we're just taking village rights yeah, death knob berserkers a teacher for two that could dusk wielder um I don't see us playing that, but that's okay. Still got another pack, too, which is pretty sweet. Immerstorm Predator might be worth splashing for, especially because we already have Snow Covered Mountain and Shimmer Drift Veil. We're not going to play Valkyrie Sword. We don't have Double White. It's very good, though. Turn a creature from your hand. Yeah, um, yeah. I think this is actually the pick. Yeah, we're just taking Predator here. Snowfield sinkhole. Another Vengeful Reaper, which seems really good. I kind of like Bird Strider here. We don't actually have that many five drops. A 
Or do we just take the Vengeful Reaper? I mean, like, this seems pretty good, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Reaper here. Uh, another Hailstorm Valkyrie. Oh, wow, Elrond's Epiphany? Oh, that seems sweet. Wow, that's... Wow, that's real sweet. <laughs> Definitely taking that. Taking the turns. I would like to see two more lands, ideally. Two, two for three. She's a creature type. Whenever the creature is chosen type, put a counter on this guy. Sure. Yeah, here I think it's just Berg Strider. Cheese Berg Strider. You think it's Jarl? Interesting. Okay, I feel like we're we're getting low on the snow. Wither Crown. Chain creature has base power zero, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you sacrifice this creature. See you later. Um, I'm just gonna take another Raven form here, I think. Or we could just take snow covered planes. Like hmm. we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to take the planes. I'd just rather be safe. I don't think we need another Raven form. Uh, enters battlefield tapped. Sacrifice a mill four cards and return a creature from your grave to the battlefield tapped. It's actually not terrible. I don't know why these aren't snowlands, though. Yeah, I think we just want the mountain here, especially for splashing. Uh, Mistwalker actually seems real good. Yeah, we can take a Mistwalker. Frost Augur. Check it and see. Yeah, we're just taking Feed the Serpent here. Well, it doesn't look like we're hitting any more Snowlands. We could have like three Tegrid, Turgrid, Turgrid Shadows. That's a lot. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snowlands, which is not terrible. Also, snow field sinkhole. All right. And we also have a uh, dwarven hammer in the sideboard. Let's take way down. Yeah, I guess we could take Yarl now. Oh, what up, Josh? Uh, I don't think when we have Ascendant Spirit, I'm overvaluing Snowlands. Or when we have uh, Blood on the Snow and we want at least like three or four Snowlands to get some good back. Plus we have 43 cards, so like we need cuts. Like I, I don't even think... Uh... Don't care about Dread Rider. Also, don't care about strategic planning. I don't think we have a way to pump this. How many creatures do we have right now? 16? Actually, that's fine. I don't feel bad about it. Frost Augur, 1 2 for 1 that, like. I mean, like, so we have 1 2. This will never count itself, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-
14, 15, 16, 17, 18 snow permanents in our deck. That means 50% of the time this is going to draw a card. No, top boss, go ahead. Post the, post the arena code. <coughs> Plus, we want small creatures to go to the graveyard because we have uh, double way down. Okay, let's check our mana. So, what is this? Six. Seven. Maybe eight. Snow covered plains is just a colorless land here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black, and then one, two, three. I think that should be fine. Uh, double Edan doesn't seem that hard. We have double El Elder Fang Disciple. We have Priest that goes to the graveyard automatically. I mean, I could see cutting one, but... Exchange control of two creatures, which doesn't seem bad when you have Elder Fang Disciples to just give them. We exchange control of two target non-basic, non-creature permanents that share a card type. Alright, I'll bring in one Yarl for one way down. That seems fine. So blue sources and black sources. Really wish they didn't like separate them by <laughs> both and both. So six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh God, Jesus, it's so hard to fucking count in this client, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I can't like, I'm trying to go over them with my mouse to count them, but then like they just keep popping up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six, six. This is it's essentially eight, eight, and three. And then like one snow covered plains. All right. <laughs> yeah, Meetup and Magic Man. That's what I'm always thinking. I'm always like, God, he's really pushy. Unbelievable. This seems good. We have three snow lands. This is easily a black source. This guy on turn two. We got blood to get this guy back or this guy back. Mm -hmm. This guy. Man, our whole hand is snow. Snow sorcery, snow creature, snow creature, snow creature, snow creature. What does this guy do? Search your library for a basic land when he boasts. Where X is the number of snow lands. I'm pretty sure I just killed this guy. I guess I foretell this, right? Like, that's just the correct play. Man, foretell's wild. That's the first card I've ever foretold. Okie dokie. Artichokey.
why did it use our blue? Yeah, that's a good question. Because as you're foretelling it, it doesn't see it as... It doesn't have the foresight to see that it's a blue spell that costs one blue once it's foretold. It only sees what you have currently, I'm assuming. So at the, at the time, I had nothing that could use any of our colors. It doesn't say, like, after he does this, he'll have one... He'll, this will cost one blue, so we'll leave the blue up. Oh, that's... That's a thing. Um, I think we're just Raven forming that. Yeah, it's also a sorcery, but we did have time on our turn after we foretold it, right? So it doesn't matter. Like, the, the game's not going to know that it's a sorcery and that we can't cast it on the future turn. During our turn, we still had an opportunity to, like... Uh, actually, I guess we couldn't cast it on our turn because it's foretell. That's a good point. Um... You get a little bird. Oh, wow, they got their own Narfi? Snow covered. They only have one snow covered land, though? Okay. This is 3 2. Wait, what? How did this guy? So, this is what they milled. When Harold is about to look at the top five cards, you'll have to be rolling Elf Warrior. This is a constructed deck. I feel like I'm playing a pre-con here. I have to sneeze, you know the drill. Oh god. Alright, they got five cards. They didn't fight anything. What does the next one do? Whenever an elf target creature opponent controls, it gets negative one and negative one. Sure, they have one elf. I'm not super concerned with that. We can't block it anyway. Let's double block. Wow, they got double, <laughs> double dual lands. That's pretty good. Only one snow land though. What does this guy do? Search your library for a creature card of power. Or I really, I really would love a second black here. That would be. That would be phenomenal. I can cast one thing this turn. I don't feel like trading here. They just get to draw a big fat idiot. Or they just wait till we draw a second black source, presumably next turn, to uh, get rid of that guy. Hunter's coming in. Okay, so another one of those those land searchy guys. I feel like there's a hair that I'm like able to see. Okay. Well, I mean that's a two for one. I guess they get to search for ravenous lindworm. I 
I guess he gets to kill both, right? That seems fine. Okay. Do we just destroy all creatures here and get back like this guy? I don't think so. Because then they play this, but then I guess we have Feed the Serpent afterwards, and they have to discard something else. Yeah, I don't hate that. Like, this is basically a three for one. Do they discard their 6-6 six, six when they don't have a 6 land? No, they discard Bind the Monster. Because our hand is actually still pretty good. One, two, three, four. Next turn, we can go one, two, three. If we draw a black source, we can also... Two, three, four. Oh, yeah, we're living the dream. <coughs> oh, I guess it, no, I guess it was a four for one, right? Because, like, we got we got a, bo a creature on the board, they discarded one, and they lost two creatures. Yeah, it's a four for one. I, I count this as a one. Oh, boy. Just mono six sixes dot deck over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we actually put both of these on the board. And then next turn we can take our free turn. This doesn't have trample, so it's a pretty easy block here. Oh, we can't put both on the board, right? We only have one, two, three, four, five. No, we do. We have seven. Just cast it. Oh, we probably should have put Narfi on the board, right? Doesn't have reach. Yeah, this is fine. Just taking six here. What does the next thing do? Search library for a forest. Sure, don't care about that. Good game. Is it good game? Uh, we have one left over, so this is three, four, five, six, and then eight. Yeah, that's probably game. Um, okay. <laughs> what is this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? And then we can just pump one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Alrun's Epiphany is a card. They have a bunch of big, fat idiots. Good lord. I kind of want the other Turgrid Shadow, to be honest. I think we're fine without, but... Am I the only one here? No, but it's always weird when that happens. Hello, guys? <coughs> nope, nice plays. Okay, all right. We got it. I am t I am here too, also as well. <laughs> oh Lord, good times. Two, 
Two lands. Priest. You know what? I'll keep this. Oh, yeah. See, now we're just... Now we just have it all. I might even just... Oh, yeah. I might just not play things. Those legends will always be in the shadows. I need another swamp. That's what I need. That's what Father likes. I mean, I think I just might Raven form this guy. I mean, I think taking... The problem is I don't want to make them sack the bird. I mean, worst case scenario, we just trade Frost Peak Yeti for it. Eh, that seems fine. Ugh. Oof. Do I want to risk it? Put a one counter each elf you control. I think we just do it now. I don't really want to risk them having like a weird counter spell or something. I don't know if that's a... Like they could have Disdainful Stroke. Man, that was a beating. Oh, and also Feed the Serpent exiling this guy is really good. Or we could actually just play this and play Yeti. No, we can't. We only have one blue, unfortunately. That is sad. I guess we can Raven form and play Priest. I also could have just played an island and, and, and done exactly what I wanted to do. I was thinking we were going to feed the serpent this guy, so... I definitely want to exile it, though, so... Yeah, that seems fine. Right, saw it coming is also another option in this format. Let's say enchant land. Okay, we're definitely exiling this guy. Um, no attacks. They have two cards. We have an onboard negative three, negative three. Okay, that's also pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually kind of like this because if we draw a land, we can just go this guy, this guy. But we can also attack for one this turn as well, so. Oh, interesting. That doesn't hurt the bonuses that we're getting, though, so... Oh, boy. This is wild. Interesting. Let's go blockers. Blockers. 
I don't see a point to playing this if they have like blood on the ice or something. They don't have double blue though. I think they're I don't have double black. I think they're just splashing black here. Oh, I guess we could have pumped this guy like a million times, right? I mean, we have Lethal on board, so. Hmm. Awkward. Not really, actually. Both of our guys blocked that pretty effectively. Yep. Do you get in there with a little bird? <clears throat> Oh boy. <coughs> Gotti. Man, for our first uh, first call time draft, I feel like that went pretty well. Hey, Frank's pretty good at this game. Hey, let's slow down, all right? One drop, two drop, three drop. If we can hit like a snow covered mountain, that would be banging. Shanala, congrats on the vaccine, buddy. That sounds amazing. I'm just waiting my turn because I'm in the back of the line as a works from home content creator. <laughs> Katie is also getting her first dose of vaccine in like a week or so because she's a vet, so. Wouldn't you like to, wow, there's a two for one? You're just using your frostbite on that guy? That's wild. Now my way down has value. Sure. Does this give you any creatures? Draw a card and reveal a giant from your hand. Deals two damage to target opponent or playing this one for sure. Oh boy. <laughs> Talk about living the dream. I also don't think we're going to be casting this next turn. But next turn we can Mistwalker sack this guy to way down. So that's kind of cool. Okay, that's pretty good. What did they reveal? A Craven Hulk. 4-4 four, four is big. I don't like it. A giant coward. <laughs> Sure would help a lot. 
Wouldn't you like to get away? Ooh, way down. That dude's going way down, if you know what I mean. I guess we can just pass here, though. I, I want to be able to block and then sack it to village rights. They have two cards as well, so. Shapeshifter all. Okay. Yeah, no attacks is fine. Plus, if we draw another land, we can just Bergstrider this guy for a turn. Pass to attackers. Everybody get in there. Blood on the snow seems okay. <clears throat> Just need some more black sources. Sure. You got it. You gonna kill this guy? Rude. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's get rid of one of these guys. So now Blood on the Snow is live to get back Elder Fang Disciple. I mean, I really don't take. I don't want to take six here. So, all right. Let's say red. Bam. So, blood on the snow now is uh, no attacks. All right. Yeah, I'll block my dude. They didn't play it, dude? Dang. You got counterspell for this guy? It's pretty good. How dare you, Mark? How dare you? This is any graveyard, right? Sure. Alright, so I have one card in hand. Oh, wow. Return all permanents to their own hand except for giants, wizards, and lands. Oh, they don't even know what they've done. Oh, this is going to be amazing. All right, I'll keep both my guys. Thanks. Oh, man. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What does this guy do? So he becomes a four. That's fine. I don't care about that. It's really hard to look at these lands and be like, okay, I got a swamp and another swamp. Island. Uh, oh God, island swamp. It's actually kind of confusing.
Oh, what up, Alistair Stone? Oh, interesting. No attacks. Okay, well, the game just ended, I guess. Let's get that big, fat, game-winning giant out of your graveyard. Two, three, four. Yeah, this is fine. I wish it said X on here. X number of snowlands. One, two. Why do I have to count them all the time? <clears throat> so now we have Raven form and feed the serpent. I don't think. I think this game just ended a long time ago. All right. So they got infinite fat giants. Turgrid Shadow just could be good again. We have blood on the snow and one shadow already. Do we need two shadows? I'm actually just gonna take weight down, way down, Thank and actually bring shadow back in because I don't think we have enough. I don't. I think all their guys are like four, four, five, five. Uh, this hand seems pretty decent. Sure, I'll keep it. I think we're going red here. Um, we don't need double blue for anything. And I'd like to guarantee us being able to, uh, cast your boy. Is this a 2 1? Sure. That's a nice one. <clears throat> oh, I was like, how come this didn't make a token? Oh, because it's a human. All right. Well... Guys, big. If this had flash, I could understand the foretell. Eh, maybe not even. I don't know. I mean, next time we can just go pilfering hawk. And foretell, or we can go Berg Strider. Okay. Well, now we're just gonna play Berg Strider. OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. What is this guy? Eh, don't care about you that much. Let's play bird. Foretell this guy. Oh, Burnerator, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Totally missed it. No attacks. We are still behind here, but... Got it. Yep, they have no cards in hand. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> we only have one blue. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Awkward. Well, I would not have attacked her if I only had one blue, so that's unfortunate. Cool. I mean, they also have like 17 removal spells, so that's kind of fucking obnoxious, and we didn't draw either one of these or our blood on the snow, so. What can you do, I guess? Actually, way down killing the bird's not terrible. So whoever lands should make blue man on principle alone. I agree with you. I'm just going to submit like this. Watch your opening hand is going to have uh, Turgrids and Blood on the Snow on the same. And neither. We need a black source, but I think this is fine. Like, one black source turns on our hand. We have eight of them, so... Hey! We're good at this game. Living the dream. Oh, Volatile Fjord. Thank you. Oh, Music Manly, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the resub, my dude. Thank you for the support. Oh, another. Another blue land, huh? Um, what does this guy cost? Two mana to get him going.
I like this Priest of the Haunted Edge way down combo. Interesting. I will take three. Yeah, Excel's not fair. Oh, Frostbite. How nice. Wow, that's really good. Jesus. What a beating. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Smoky Boy. What does that mean? I don't know. Now we can sack this guy. Oh yeah, this is this is the this is the the tits right here. And he's got a gun. So you have to have three removal spells for this guy. You got it. I wish, I, again, I wish I had another black source. So that's one target card. See, but this is interesting because we have one black we can actually uh we can foretell this so that we can cast both of these next turn or we can just play this this turn but it doesn't do much is the problem i'm just gonna foretell this Uh, Chad has not gotten any more information. Neither have I yet. Yeah, no blocks. Okay. Interesting. You got it. Um, no, I don't think it's worth trading with the bird here. I will play this as a second black source. So they have to block here, which means these are free attacks, so...
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we don't have another blue. Because I didn't play my land this... Oh, I guess it's lethal anyway, so I didn't even need to pump. Sounds good. Got him. Our deck is sweet. Day was pretty good. Uh, it's like 11 p.m. now, so it's basically over, but... Me and Katie watched Black Panther, because we're watching through the MCU again. We also watched the new WandaVision with Michael. Mm, yeah, this seems good. Mono Reapers dot deck over here. Okay. <laughs> um, we can just play this next turn, which is pretty sweet. That's gotta be better than just playing either one of these this turn. Oh, that's perfect. Wow. Let's go... God, we have any second black. Second black would be great, but also a red. I think we're just playing red here. No attacks. I mean, next turn we can still go, like... This guy... Foretell one of these two, or both of these... One of these on four. Okay, sounds good. This guy had lifelink, I'd probably be attacked. Eh, maybe not. You got it. Oh, that's pretty good. I kind of like foretelling both of these because it gives us more options next turn about which one we want. And it lets us just keep village rights or loot up here. So I think we're doing fine. And now we're not. Time to focus. I've got a job to do. Um... Oh, this is actually great because now we can play Vengeful Reaper Hasty and kill the Kaya. Or we can't because they don't want to. Just that guy, huh? Sure, I'll trade a Pilfering Hawk for a story. Thank story. you! Oh man, Mitch, 70 months, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you, buddy. Um, I mean, the thing is, they have to block with this guy, right? So. Which means you just get to eat the Courser. And then play a Hailstorm Valkyrie. Oh, they're just going to let it die. What I signed up for. That was not uh, 
Yeah. Can't say I was expecting that. <coughs> okay, that guy's. I mean, if you if you have a, I mean, I guess I guess they just don't. They feel like they don't have a way to. Like they can plus on a creature next turn. Kai goes to three, but then she has two turns. Then you get to plus on another creature. So I don't know. I guess without a flyer though, these guys are just gonna take over the game. Yeah, sure. That's. I will trade a two-one for a, a one-one, even if you get a one-one. We can actually use two more and hit him for six here and then play old priesty boy. That's, that's, un that's unfortunate. Not that great, though. What is one, two, three, three pumps? We can attack for eight here. I'm actually just probably going to kill this thing. <coughs> and then we can just flash this guy and eat one of their Dusk wielder Wielders. Feels like we're in good shape here. All right, <clears throat> so they're dead on board to the Hailstorm Valkyrie. That's not going to do it. That deck is sweet, man. I don't actually like Shadow here. They just have a bunch of little shitters. <laughs> I do kind of like Way Down. It kills all their things, and Death Knell Berserker is also pretty, pretty decent. I feel like I could just play... Yeah, I can just play 41 here. It's totally fine. Today. <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean I'm just keeping double Elder Fang hand with village rights.
Unfortunately, a second black, a snow-covered swamp would be amazing, because then we can play Elder Pan, keep it village rights, but now we have... Okay. I realized not so expired when I went to use 41. Unbelievable. Mediocre Magic Man, I appreciate the resub, buddy. Mitch, I've been good. How about you? Uh, no blocks. Another one, huh? I mean, this needs two other cards that we can trade for a Story Seeker, so it's a two for three. <clears throat> or next turn we can block here, play the Jarl. Or we can just take four, which I kind of like a little bit better. Yeah, I think this is better. Interesting. It's just a bunch of Durbles. Wow, that was a good draw. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna—I was thinking of playing Frost Peak Getty. Not anymore. I mean, even if they tap my guy, it's fine. Like, we're just still... This is getting bigger. And then we can probably double block. I don't know. Okay, so they have nothing in hand. Yeah. All right. 3-0. Sweet. <laughs> just, it's, it's just kidding. We're not there yet. Frost P. Kitty keeping up village rights is pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. Tap my Immersturm Predator. I want to keep these guys alive for this, but I think it just might be important to get rid of another. Like, I don't want to take six here. Plus, once we put a second guy on the board, like, these guys are kind of irrelevant, so. It's <laughs> so, like we're putting them in a position where they can just can't attack anymore. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> See, this is great because I have four mana and I don't want to cast Raven form and I don't want to cast Jarl. So just like being able to foretell both of these is pretty sweet. Well, you can stay home, I guess. I didn't do a draft earlier because I decided it was too late, but now I've been up long enough that I could have finished a draft, and I feel like a clown meme. What's a clown meme? <clears throat> Mitch, it's always good to see you, buddy. Oh my god, they have like five of these in their deck? This is literally number three, right? Oh boy. Well, that guy's good. Black is definitely our bottleneck here. You know, a clown meme. Everybody knows that. Everybody does know that. It's true. This card is bananas. Like, oof. Just big oofs. Unfortunately, none of these guys block. For, I guess this guy blocks fine. I don't really need to... <clears throat> I'll just play this thing. Oh, the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one where it's like... I, I want to do a draft, but it's too late to do a draft. I'll watch Frank's stream instead. I'll watch it for long enough to have finished a draft. That's how it goes. Okay, we're well, we're just... Nah. I mean, doesn't this guy just win, like, next turn, these two? Seems fine. 
Oh, is this good enough for standard? Yes, 100%. Each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. That's still dead. Also, if we hit a land, we just get to go Alrens. And we did. YOLO. Because <laughs> it's fun. Look at this time warp image. The take the take the extra turn image is the time warp. That's pretty sweet. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to learn how to three O call time drafts on your very first try, here you go. This is the way to do it. Pick up them snowlands. Pick up them sweepers. And uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you later.